a miracle has happened. The call has come through. The fur coat is saved. Oh, we're all so elated. We're so happy. We're jumping up and down, you know. The fur blanket and the fur jacket. We're just jumping for joy. <laughs> and it's going to be home within a few days. We're planning a big welcoming party for it. And the studio is going to reserve a whole town stage and they will cancel work across the studio for the whole day. And we'll just celebrate and celebrate and celebrate the fur coat's return. It's so, such happiness. I even got a cable from the president again. He still wishes the fur coat was his. And we're just really thrilled about that. He might even stop in on the party. Oh, but I must tell you the story about the fur coat's harrowing rescue. It's rescue from the Antarctic. You know, after that terrible avalanche, it was lost, and we had to return home without it. It was so horrible. Oh. But uh, this is how it happened. Well, about, you know, a few weeks, you know, after we turned, returned home, there was some Eskimos who had lost their way as they were paddling their canoe around, and one of them happened to see something sticking up out of the snow, and he thought it would look like it was waving. So they, they, would, would, they landed and took a closer look, and here it was the fur coat's cuffs. It was waving for help. So they, they dug it out, and it had, you know, the coat had its name, its name and address on it. It's home, it said, please return me to, you know, home. And so the, they, they well, as soon as they got to a phone, and well, they wrote a letter. They had trouble finding getting through the phone. They wrote a letter, and they kept the fur coat and um, very kindly, while it was there, while we were waiting for it, and so it, it was quite an adventure because you know there's other uh, fur trappers around, and the fur coat uh, could have been captured and and sold someplace else, because. Um, and they wouldn't know the difference, and they wouldn't respect that it belonged to someone else, you know, with a name and address and all. So fortunately, fortunately, it was kept in a safe place in the Eskimos' igloo. And the letter they sent to me, telling about finding the coat, and how it waved to them with its sleeves sticking up from the, you know, the snow, those cuffs that were waving in the wind, and that's how they found it. And so I sent them the money to ship the fur coat back home. And it's, it's such a relief and a wonderful occasion to know the fur coat will still live to make another film. And we'll be interviewed shortly. So don't forget to come back and listen to our interview with the fur coat just after its rescue. So, so happy. And thank you for your hopes and wishes and dreams of the fur coat. We return safely to its home.